Now that we're almost ready to submit our assignment, the next steps that we need to do are putting our floor plan and our 3D views into title blocks. We'll eventually go ahead and print those out. We'll also export them as PDFs and Dropbox those to our assignment uh, Dropbox on PowerSchool Learning. So in our project browser, um, you're going to see a sheets section. Um, there is nothing in that sheets section for you right now. What I've done is I've added the floor plan. You can see I filled out my title block down at the bottom and I placed my floor plan. And then the second sheet that we're going to have is our 3D view. And again, um, the sheets are going to be numbered, so you'll see a one on that one, or I'm sorry, a one on the first one that we do, and then a two for the second sheet for our 3D view. So we need to go over how to, one, get our title block into Revit, and two, to place these floor plans on our sheets so that we can print and export. So I'm going to come in with our demo video example. And again, uh, your sheets are going to be empty. So I'm going to delete this. So yours is going to look like this. Um, so what we need to do is actually come to our monthly preview. And I have the HHS title block linked. I'll also post it on Haiku. Um, but what we'll need to do is click on that file. And it's a... Revit template file. So we're actually not going to be able to file support that through Google Drive. It doesn't give us a preview. So what you'll need to do is download it to your Google Drive. So I have mine saved right here in my architecture folder. Um, we are going to be using this title block over and over and over again. So we want to make sure that we get it saved to our Google Drive so that we don't have to keep downloading it. All right, so I'm going to come back to Revit and how we go ahead and get our title block into our environment is you're going to find the sheets option in our project browser and then we're going to right click and we're going to select new sheet. It might ask you to save the project. Just go ahead and save it. All right, and you should see the option A, 8.5 by 11, which is our paper size, vertical, which is the orientation of our paper, and then I've named it HHS title block. So with that selected, um, you would press OK. If that doesn't show up, you need to press the load button, and then you would come up to the top here, and you would go to your Google Drive, and then you would find your CAD folder, Hopefully you made an architecture folder and then you would select that title block for yourself. Again, it's going to give you a little preview of what it looks like. I already have mine loaded, so I'm not going to press open because I would have duplicates then. I'm just going to press cancel. So you should see, again, this HHS title block under the select title blocks option. Um, if you don't, you have to press that load button and you have to go find where you saved that title block in your Google Drive. All right, we're going to press OK. And then a new window is going to pop up with the actual title block. And you're going to notice in our project browser next to Sheets, it has a little plus sign now. If you click on that plus sign, that sheet is going to be unnamed. And the first sheet that we need to go ahead and create a title block for is our level one floor plan. So I'm literally just going to click and drag. You're going to see my mouse has like a little uh, move symbol next to it or attached to it. And I'm just going to let go. And what should happen is I'm going to scroll out. You can see this big old box attached to my mouse. I'm going to click a second time and it's going to go out and place that floor plan. The big box just represents the perimeter of our elevation cameras. So now what I need to do is I need to position my drawing with the dimensions and everything into my title block. All right, we'll get it as centered as possible. It doesn't give you a nice preview of where we're dragging and dropping it, unfortunately. 
but that's okay. We can work around it. So I'm going to come in and I'm going to right click on the name of that sheet. And I'm going to rename it. The number of my sheet is going to be page one. So I'll just number it one. And then the name of this is going to be floor plan. And what that's going to do is it's going to update the sheet number here and the floor plan name here. Um, I should probably call it um, in the project name. So if I double click on my title block, let me zoom in here. If I double click on that project name, we're going to call it room C1110 as our project name. And then you're going to type in your first and last name under the owner. So I get in the habit of doing everything in all caps uh, for most things that we're going to go, going to go ahead and be doing. Um, you're also going to notice that we have a scale. And that's the next thing that I want to go ahead and talk about. Um, when we bring in our floor plan, if we click on the floor plan, you're going to notice the view scale here. Um, if you click on that drop down, you can go ahead and scale things so that it's bigger or smaller, and it will go ahead and update the size. Remember, just like our, our drawings, we want to fit that scale drawing as big as we can possibly get it into our title block. Now, if I I bump it up to, for this example, um, a quarter of an inch equals one foot. It's too big. So I know that I need to stay with that 3 16th scale. But that scale, when you update it in your properties panel here, it will go ahead and update at the bottom of your title block. All right. Next thing that we need to go ahead and do, um, you can fill out these bottom sections. I don't really need you to. I literally just need your name. No, it's not going to let me. Well, um, what I literally just need is your name, the project name, and then the floor plan. That should say plan, not pan. Just go back in and edit that. Not a big deal. And it'll update for me. And then your sheet number and then your scale so that it fits within your title block border. All right, so that is going to be the first sheet that we need to go out and make. We also need to make another sheet. Um, so I'm going to go to right click on sheets. I'm going to select the title block again, and it's going to pop up with a second title block. I'm going to right click, and this time my number is going to be two for sheet two, and I'm just going to call this one 3D view. And same thing, we're going to click on the 3D view, we're going to drag it in. My 3D view is going to be a little bit smaller, so that box is still attached to my mouse. I'm going to try to center that as best as possible, and then I'm going to click once um, so that I can go ahead and see my 3D view. Now your 3D view in your actual classroom, let me pull that up real quick can see here, I'm going to double click on that, you're going to be able to see your ceiling. All right, you need to be able to see that. That's what I want to see because I want to make sure that you can see um, and place the lights properly. I know that you did your furniture and your electrical because of that uh, level one floor plan that we have on sheet one. So I need to be able to see the 3D and the level one floor plan both. Um, when we're doing our title blocks so that I can make sure that you have all of the components that are required for your project. So that's how you import your title block after you download it to your Google Drive and set up your uh, level one floor plan and your 3D view floor plan in your title block. As we get into some of our more complex projects, there will be additional sheets that you will need to go out and add for specific assignments, but for right now, those are the only two that you will need. So what I would do is I would go to File, Save, make sure that those title blocks save into your assignment. And then what we'll need to do is we'll need to export these. And 
what we will want to export them as are the CAD formats and we will do the DWG and this is just a drawing file. So if we needed to open it up into like a 2D modeling software like CAD or something, we could go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to save my set and close. And then what we'll also want to do is go to File, Save As. We're going to save it as a project into our Google Drive folder. Again, it's saving it as a Revit file right now, which is perfect, which is that RVT file extension. I'm going to go ahead and save over my previous one to replace all of the changes that I've made with my sheets. And that is how we go ahead and import our title block. And then our submission is going to be the printouts. So we'll have your sketch, your scale, your Revit printout. I'll go ahead and show you how to do that in the next video. And then our rubric that I handed out in class. If you need the rubric, it is also on the back of our or on the last page, I should say, um, of our assignment sheet. Remember, our assignment sheet is linked on most of the days um, at the end of August and early September. It is page number three of our assignment sheet. So I did hand this out to everybody, hard copy. Um, you will need to come in and fill out the student column, make sure that you have all the criteria completed on your final title blocks. And I would make sure you go through this before you print those out and Dropbox your files. Then what I will do is on your printout, when you turn all five items in, I will fill out the teacher column so that you know your grade. And then the fifth item that you're um, also going to turn in separately from the printouts is going to be your PDF of your floor plan that you set up in Revit. So I'll show you how to do that in your next video, but you're gonna be printing out your floor plan and your 3D view and stapling that to, or I'm sorry, dropboxing that to your uh, PSL Dropbox.